My name is Sebastian Gluck. I'm a pipe organ builder, tuner, restorer. From the time I was six years old, uh, I knew I was gonna build organs. Uh, I was uh, in Europe with my family and the organ was so revered in Europe. People say it's old fashioned, but the fact that every generation has used the organ means it's always been modern. That's why it's been around for 2,000 years. The most complex machine that man had made. And so it's tens of thousands of parts, it's meticulously crafted mechanisms. There's a lot of mathematics, but beyond the science, uh, it's, it's an emotional thing. It, 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 uh, I think people don't know the vast range of colors that come out of an organ. All of the hundreds of pipes in there are doing the same thing that the parishioners are doing. They're singing. It enhances not only the church service, but our daily lives as human beings. The organ that is presently in our choir loft had been installed in 1931, a molar organ. And for many years now, several decades at this point, it had not been working. When we first came, we had just a small keyboard that somebody was playing for masses and myself and the other friars, we really decided that we needed something more substantial. To make sure that it was brought back to its original beauty and the power that an organ can give so that the people, again, that are, have been used to it can appreciate its sound again. Every time I hear the organ play, and when Sebastian plays the bass pipes, I feel it as well, I feel exceptionally blessed um, because the organ was in such disrepair, the church itself was in such disrepair, that this is another step of the friars bringing something to life that once was dead. Gentlemen, <laughs> hi. Well, we're almost done. I met the friars when they first wanted ins an insurance assessment um, because they had a, a tower leak, it had destroyed the blower of the organ, the turbine. And they said, we know you build new organs, but do you also tune and restore? And what can we do now that you've seen our instrument? And I said, certainly, I would love to. Have shared their enthusiasm. Because I saw what they were doing here. They were engaging the community. Richness of it, a certain sense of wonderment. Churches often have their, their doors closed and locked. Here it's open, you can look in, you can walk in, you can, anything that catches your eye. There are programs for the community and that the organ was to be included in that. To be able to invite another you know, portion of the community, the neighborhood, to come in and to, to share with us our experience of God. When I design or redesign an instrument, there's generally this initial stroke of lightning, and then I get down to the idea of how am I going to make this happen? This was unusual. I wanted to do something in the Italian Romantic style, and it's, there's really not another organ like this around. The challenge with this was that there's very little space and it's very awkward space. So we had to figure out ways of fitting it into the space. When we were deciding how we were going to build it, how we were going to do this whole project, we worked very closely with a lot radio across the street, which is an internet-based radio station, um, and working with their musicians and composers to see if there was enough interest in the community to make this investment. And there was a resounding yes, because it was such a unique instrument in such a unique location. To me, it's always been intimate. It's really developed a closer relationship with God and Jesus Christ, and then the community that we have here. If you consider 
the cutting of the, the pipe mouths or the, the painting of details to be physical prayer, then I would say there is something meditative about this. For me, then, each one is my child. It's not a job. If it were just a job, if it were just wood, if it were just metal, I would be restoring people's kitchens and making a lot more money and having a lot less frustration. It doesn't get done without exceptional focus and integrity. You have to block out other things to really do this right. I hope that everybody who's watching stops in. Um, we're located at 85 North 15th Street in Greenpoint. I hope they come in, see the organ, meet us, and come to one of the concerts here.